Hi guys, in the previous video we learned how to install Android Studio and Java JDK. In this video we are going to start making our project. So let's just get into it. Don't worry about this thing, it's my previous project. Let's click on file, and then click on new project. And this dialog box will open. Let's name my browser Avenger Browser. Just for fun. And then we'll our com keep our company name as atri.in or you can keep it as your name and then the domain name after it called for example com or dot n now this package name has to be unique that is this package name is generated by the company domain and the application name these two are combined to create this package name now for every application the package name has to be unique so when you upload your application to the google play store it basically recognizes your application you can just using this package name so this package name make sure it's unique and you can do that by putting your own name and then dot in after it and then having an application name now we can change the project location to whatever you want by clicking on this button and then making a new folder by clicking over here if you want i'll just do it in my default place that is e apps event browser then click on next now there are many options for and tablet wear tv android auto glass now we want our web browser to run on, run on any phone or any tablet and if you want you could make it for where for the android watch or android tv we don't want that right now because it's a very basic application so we just want our web browser to run on phone and tablet now minimum sdk there are a lot of api levels given now these api levels are integrated into your android phone they are already there so if you go to the latest android level api 525 you can see that your application will only run on less than one percent of the devices we don't want that we don't are want our web browser to to run on so many so little amount of devices we want it to run on a lot of devices so for example if you select api 21 it says that it will approximately run on 40.5 percent of the devices but what we want is that we want our web browser to run on more than 95 percent of the devices so what i usually do is i choose api 15 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich now as you can see it runs on 97.4% of the devices which is exactly what we want. So without wasting any much more time let's click on next. And then there are a lot of activities over here. These activities help you shorten the time and the framework that is required and the work that is required to create an application. For example if you use this Google AdMob ads activity you can integrate ads into your application pretty quickly and pretty easily. But right now for a web application, what we want is to start from scratch. So we'll select this empty activity and click on next. Now we get something as main activity and the activity main. Now don't worry about what is activity name and what is layout name right now. Uh, and leave these things as default because it usually helps to remember that, hey, your main activity is main activity. And this is going to be the first activity that you are going to be working on. So let's click on finish. It's going to create our project. Now, if this is the first time that you are creating the project, it might take some time. So don't worry about it. And now we are going to learn something about Gradle. Now, what is Gradle? For example, it says here Gradle build running. Now, it isn't actually important to what we are doing, but it's good to know like what is Gradle. Basically, Gradle is like a compiler. It converts your Android code, the code that we are going to write into your actual Android application. That is the work of the Gradle. Now that our project has been completed, and also remember that if your RAM is less than 6 GB, it's going to take some time to create the project and run it afterwards. Anyways, but it, it's fine. Even if your RAM is less than 6 GB, we can work around it, but it is going to take a slightly more time. All right. Now we have two files. One is main activity .java and another is activity underscore main dot XML. Now I want you to know that every application in the world, every Android application on any website in the world, is divided into two parts. One is called the front end and another called is the back end. Now what is front end? For example, if you have a button, right? So where is the button placed on the screen? How does the button look? What is the font styling of the button? How big is the button? How small is the button? That all comes in the front end part of the application. Now what happens after we click on the button? That part is handled by the back end. Now the back end is handled by this Java file and the front end is handled by this XML file. Now this is the coding portion of the XML. What we are going to do is going to do the, going to this design portion of the Android application. You click on the design, it will show an error like rendering problems. If it's showing an error, just click on a lower version of API level, but most probably you won't be seeing this error. Now as you can see, this is our application. 
there's a hello world over here you can even put a button in our android application it says new button all right so what we want to know that how do we actually code these buttons for example right now our application is very simple right we just have a, a text written over here and we have a button so we can just drag and put it into our application but what happens with complex applications that we have to actually code these buttons into our application how do we code this application by go, going to this text portion and writing code over here now as you can see it has many text views and buttons over here all right so you have to realize that everything in an android app is a view so this is a big view and this hello text is a smaller view and this new button is another view so a view is combined and made by very various smaller views so this is known as a text view and this is known as a button now where do these file actually exist in our android application in the in the folder structure if you're not able to see this kind of structure just go over here and click on android and go to java and click on this first not on initial android test not on test just click on this first package and you'll see your main activity now this is what the activity name where we were asked to put whether you want the name to be main activity java or anything else we just left it at default so this is the main activity and we will we find activity underscore main we can go to the resource folder and layout folder there is our activity underscore main now the aim of this video was to differentiate basically between the front end and the back end you don't have to worry right now about anything else if you have got your concepts clear about what is front end and what is back end you are pretty much done for this video so i'll see you in the next video bye